up, y'all? It is uh, really nice to be here. There has been an awakening. Do you feel it? They are. They like drug pushers. So you have, and, and, and liberalism is the heroin. Okay? So, and that's what it is. So they just keep, they just keep injecting this stuff into students every day. You know, ooh, the Republican stuff is evil. Ooh, this, these social programs are good. Ooh, we need more and more of them. Ooh, global warming is the number one threat to mankind. That is so <laughs> I mean, all of the things that the left has promoted in terms of decadence through media that have spread across the world, these jihadists are up in, up in arms against and want to kill people for it. And who, what's the one group of people in America that doesn't want to fight the jihadists? The liberals. That you guys caused this at least join the fight. Or you helped cause it. But they don't. I see some people of color, some minorities here today. Welcome, y'all. <laughs> like, and, and sometimes we knee jerk on these opportunities. Like these. Like, what's going on on the college campuses right now with these protests? Now, admittedly, some of them are stupid, right? <laughs> I don't want to be triggered by words that make me feel insecure. <laughs> the wuss, what are you doing in college? <laughs> I want a safe space. <laughs> Go in the bathroom, close the door. <laughs> that people are legitimately, legitimately protesting to this day. Republicans' fingerprints aren't on it. The Democrat Party's fingerprints on it. And one of the things that I think would really help move things along in terms of outreach is helping people that feel disenfranchised by this country's history to understand who is responsible for the things that they have grievances about. And it is not conservatism, it is not, has nothing to do with Republicans, it can all be laid at the doorstep of liberal Democrats. And we can play it there. Is always out whining about these voter ID, these states with these voter ID, right? They want to disenfranchise black men and disenfranchise. So this is the mantra of let's get the Obama vote. They don't want you to vote Republicans and doing some very sinister things. Everyone went, sinister things. Like asking people to show an ID when you show up and vote in your house. Sinister is that? <laughs> oh, that's really terrible. You might have to show. Do you have to show an ID, by the way, when you get your EBT card? Just asking. Uh -huh. <laughs> I ask it for you. That's the welfare card, for people that know what it was, the EBT card. That's the food stamp card. For the first time in my lifetime, I saw some black guys protesting Democrats about stuff that's happening in Democrat neighborhoods. And I was like, right on. Where have y'all been? They got up in Hillary Clinton's face and tell, pretty much told her she was full of shit. And you know what? I was, I'm like, yeah. Finally. So this play is not about you. This play is about black people and the Democrats that are ruining their neighborhoods and ruining their communities. I'm going to take your kid, your little black kid, you have to now wake him up at, him or her at 5 o'clock in the morning, put him on a bus, send him two hours across town so that they can sit next to a white kid to learn the same thing they could have learned in their neighborhood so we can say we're integrated. Why? Is some of the whiteness supposed to rub off onto the black kid and make them smarter? Okay. We have to make them, we have to have integration. We have to force them to integrate because then the world will be a lovely place. The world's not a lovely place. People resent this kind of intrusion from government. I love those stories. I read them all the time. Yes, I, I'm a single mom, I have three babies. And it's just not fair that I have to work for $10 an hour flipping hamburgers. And there's no follow-up ever. <laughs> but, um, who, who forced you to open your legs? Saw the 
Okay, if you came out the first time, you did it two more times without a husband. And now it's my fault, and you want me to pay so that you you want you want an increase in prices so that you can make fifteen dollars because the only thing that you're capable of doing at this stage in your life, having gone through American school system, is flip a hamburger. Wait a minute, this isn't my fault. Take some responsibility here. So imagine this: you live in a neighborhood, right? There's no Republican Party ever. There are no, there are no, there are no Republican Party offices. There's no, there's nothing. Republicans don't, they're, they're nowhere. The only time you see them is on TV. <laughs> and when you see them, you don't like them because whatever they're saying is something that, that the way it's being reported is against you, right? So then every four years, you have some black guy that they send out that comes in the neighborhood and says, hey, can you vote Republicans because we really, we really like you, and we want you to like us too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you the Democrats out here, Hillary Clinton's whining. Did you see that debate last night? <laughs> you didn't? You had a life? Good for you. There's <laughs> people like Bernie Sanders, and I'm not kidding when I say I like Bernie Sanders. I like Bernie Sanders too. I think he's a whack job. 